What did your diminisher believe to be true? If you could get inside their head, what were they thinking? That they knew better. Which is so easy when you are put, you know, some of you here have had this experience. Some of you are soon to have this experience when you get put in your first management role. Why were you put there? Charm? Good looks? Or is it because you're smart? And it's very easy to conclude, I'm the smartest one on the team. That's why they put me in charge. Therefore, my job is to tell, micromanage, interrupt, show a better way. How about your multiplier? What did your multiplier do in contrast? They, they were supportive. They trusted. They, Listen. they listened. Made you feel important. They made you feel important. They, they asked questions. They got out of the way. They sought help. They gave appreciation. You've well captured what I consider some of the soft, empowering sides of these kind of leaders. But we found these leaders, they tend to have a hard edge. My publisher looked at the first uh, version of my manuscript for the book, and she wrote back, and she said, well, these aren't really cupcakes and kisses kinds of leaders, are they? They're demanding. They have a hard edge. What was on the hard edge of your multiplier leader? They they have high expectations. They challenge. they challenge. We find that they're challenging. They're leaders who have become really comfortable asking other people to be uncomfortable. They're leaders who let you squirm a little bit. They're leaders who, despite the fact that they might be really good-hearted people, they let you suffer a bit. Your best professors. Suffering around them, or just tons of fun? Or a little of both? A little of both. Um, here's what we found um, in the research. This diminisher starts with this belief that no one's going to figure it out without me. They operate from a place of knowledge, their knowledge, and certainty. And the things that we found that they do very differently, it starts with how they manage talent. They tend to be empire builders. And, and they love to hire smart people. These people come onto campuses like this, and they scoop up the smartest, brightest minds they can. But there's a danger in this, because what do they do with them then? Often these brilliant, brilliant people become like little knickknacks in grandma's curio cabinet, sort of there to be seen, but not well used. And you don't want a job like that. In fact, you probably want to shop for a boss or be a boss that sees talent very differently. The work environment they create, they tend to be tyrants, not yelling, chair throwing tyrants, but creating anxiety and stress. They tend to be know it alls, decision makers, micromanagers. Conversely, we find they get less than half of people's capability. And the corporate world is replete with these kinds of leaders. Um, Multipliers, on the other hand, operate from a belief that people around me are smart, and they're going to figure it out. I hired them smart, and they're probably still smart on week two, or month two, or year two. And they manage in very different ways. They tend to be talent magnets, liberators, challengers, you know, debate makers, and investors giving ownership and accountability to other people. Again, they're leaders who push people out into this place of an own. They're leaders who operate from a place of inquiry. 